Today we are going to be making a donut and we're going to be doing a lot of different techniques here so get ready for it. So first thing is first is you want to write your name on the back of your paper and the letter of your art day, A, B, or C. Flip it over, take the bottom to the top and crease. And now you have a line that separates your paper into two sections. So we're going to work in sections. I want you to start um, at the top and I'm going to use oil pastels. This can also be done with crayons. And I want you to pick two colors and I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use my oil pastels that don't have wrappers on them. It's going to be a little easier for me. So if you want to peel off the wrapper, if you have wrappers on yours, you can peel it off or just find ones that don't have it. And on the top section, I'm going to rub this oil pastel and create a design. So I'm just going to stick with simple stripes. And then I'm going to use another color to fill that in. All right, and then now I'm going to do that same technique on the bottom, but this time I'm just going to switch up my design and maybe my, my pattern a little bit. Okay, so I have two different designs here and what I'm going to do is I am going to use paint and I'm using liquid tempera here. And if you don't have paint, you don't have to use paint, but we're using paint today and I am going to lay one color on the top first. So I'm going to do white and I'm going to put some globs all over it. And I'm going to paint over my oil pesto. Now I want to make sure I hit my edges. All right, now, so I have to do this kind of quickly. So that is complete. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a paint scraping tool, such as this one, and I'm going to scrape some of the paint away and create a design. Now if you don't have a paint scraping tool, you can use the back of your paintbrush to create marks. So I'll show you that a little bit more in a second. But the paint scraping tool, you press it down, you drag it, and you move it whichever direction you want to go. Now it will pick up the paint on the side, so I always like to have a paper towel next to me to wipe up the excess paint. So here we're creating a very cool, interesting effect. Now if you want to use the back of your brush, you would just simply draw your pattern into the paint and it does the same thing, but again, you'd want a paper towel so you can wipe off the paint from the back of your brush. All right, so I am going to rinse my brush now really nice. I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom, but I'm going to switch colors. All right, again, you have to work a little fast. So I'm going to use a scraper again, and let's see, maybe I want to go this way this time. So I'm going to put this on the drying rack to dry, and I'm gonna move on to the second sheet of paper. Okay, now on this sheet of paper, I want you to do the same kind of technique. So use crayons or oil pastels and just color over the paper. And this one doesn't have to be as patterny. It can almost, you can almost just color it one color and call it a day. So I'm gonna pick my color here. I think I'm gonna do yellow. I'm just gonna do random strokes. Now from here, we are going to paint a donut shape. So I'm going to, what I've done is I've poured a few different colors of paint onto a tray to um, create the color that I want for the donut. 
let's see here. So donut's kind of like a tan color. So I'm going to take some brown, take a little bit of white, and create a color. But I already can tell right now this brown looks a little too like chocolate. And I want it to look more like fried dough, like a donut. So I'm going to lighten the brown with the white. And then I think I'm going to try to put in some of this yellow. So I already kind of knew this would probably happen, which is why I was prepared. And put in some yellow and orange because I thought um, I might need those. So you might need to explore the way you need to explore. There we go. So this is warming up the brown by adding the warm color yellow. Now it doesn't look as milk chocolatey. I'm just going to add a little tad of orange in here see what happens. I have a proper donut color. And so I am going to draw a donut onto this paper. So I'm going to draw a large oval. And I'm just going right with my paintbrush. And then in the center, I'm going to draw another oval. But you want one side to be a little thicker. So you don't want it to be like the letter O, and you draw another circle right in the middle. So we want to foreshorten this donut. So what that means is we're looking at it kind of from an angle. So this section of the donut should be wider than this section of the donut. You want to quickly paint this in. When I say quickly, it doesn't mean go be sloppy about it. It just means use a little sense of urgency because we're going to do another little paint scrape with it and the paint has to be wet in order to scrape the paint away. If it dries, it won't work. So make sure before you paint your donut that you do mix enough color in your tray that you can paint the whole donut fairly quickly and you don't have to remix. So I had a lot of brown in there and I was able to use all of it. From here, I want you to use the back of your paintbrush and I want you to create like little marks to suggest icing. Give you a line down here in the larger section and just kind of make some swirly designs. There we go. Make sure you wipe off the back of your paintbrush and clean the hairs of your paintbrush when you're finished and we're going to let this dry. Alright, the next step is I have a portion of a paper plate and you want to decorate this. Now you can choose what media you want for the decorations. I think I'm going to choose marker. And it's just decorate however you want. What I would do though is I would think about the color palette that you're using of your paints and your oil pastels and pick something that kind of ties along with that color theme you got going on top my surface is like a blue and I kind of like the combination of blue mixed with pink so I'm going to use some pink here to decorate and it doesn't have to be elaborate just something to add a little interest what I would not do though is just scribble lines everywhere because that's going to take away from the beauty of the whole piece put together Alright, so now we are going to put everything together here. So what I've already done is I glued my paper plate onto my artwork here. And so the top of the paper plate lined up right where the split of the designs happens, right in the center. And so that is glued on. It's a little tricky because the plate is slightly curved. So just press that down um, and hold for a little bit. So now I'm going to move here to my donut. And I'm going to cut my donut out. And when you cut your donut out, I want you not to cut directly on the line. I want you to come out just a little bit. And we're going to let this be kind of our outline of the donut itself. And I'll recycle my scraps. And if you want to cut out the opening, you can cut out the opening. I'm just going to leave mine. And I'm going to put some glue on the back. And I'm going to 
glue it down here onto my paper. So now it's starting to look more like a still life. It looks like my donut is sitting on its plate, ready to be eaten. So for me right now, it's a little tricky because of all the different um, papers. So I'm pressing down, I have to hold it a little bit to get all this glue to want to work for me. All right, so now the last step is we decorate our wonderful donut with sprinkles and designs. So if you want to, um, instead of doing the little scratchy marks, if you wanted to take this whole top of the donut and paint that a different color, like your donut has, is full of frosting, you could do that. Um, but I am not. I'm going to show you just adding sprinkles. So I'm using liquid tempera here and I have some neon paint and then just regular violet. I chose neon because I thought it would show up well on top of this tanny brown kind of color. So to add the sprinkles, pretty easy. We're just going to make little lines in different directions. And I'm using the tippy toe of the brush, being very, very gentle with it. Don't slam the brush down. That's going to create probably too large of a shape. So sprinkles, we want to think thin, just thin little lines. Also are going to want to, wherever you made the end of the frosting line, so this wavy line here, you want to give that a color, whatever color you see fit. Be very gentle when painting this line. Again, you don't want this line to be really, really abnormally thick. It's pretty thin. But take your time there. All right, so there's my pink. Now I'm just gonna rinse and I'm going to switch colors. Work is complete. I do need to let it dry before I handle it any further, but here is our pop art donut painting.